The Apsa Cape Epic is an event like no other. It is wild, picturesque and incredibly competitive. Olympic and world champions all gun for the win, but it doesn't come easily. This eight-day mountain bike state race traverses the Western Cape of South Africa, covering 681 kilometers of rugged terrain and climbing 17,000 meters. The course is identical for the men and women and amateurs, and the teams of two are treated to mountain biking nirvana, manicured single-track open farm trails and downhills to take your breath away. Today's stage six is a loop out of the mountain bike mecca of Stellenbosch. This legendary wine region is crawling with purpose-built sculpted trails and it threatens to be a spectacular race. There are no long climbs today, but the relentless rise and fall of the course will sap the legs. They cover 76 kilometers and climb 2,700 vertical meters. In the men's pro category, the current leaders in yellow, Canyon Northway with world champion Andreas Servolt and world number two, Martin Stosek. They have almost seven minutes on their closest rivals, 91 Songo Specialized, defending champion Matt Beers and new partner Chris Blevins. Just eight seconds behind are Speed Company Racing, Georg Egger and Lucas Baum at their first Absa Cape Epic. The gun goes and it portends to be an explosive race on this penultimate stage. All the top teams are vying for a win and the overall GC podium is still in the balance. They have 537 kilometers of racing in their legs and this is the point that cracks start to show. Fireworks from the outset. Just 30 minutes into the race, leader Andreas Sirvolt is struggling with the pace today and his partner Martin Storsek tries to control the race from the front. The frustration is evident as Georg Egger from Speed Company Racing elbows his way through in the single track descent. Second on the GC are 91 Songo Specialized. They're also struggling today. Matt Beers is an incredibly powerful rider but the constant undulation takes its toll on the tall South African champion. His partner, short track world title holder Chris Blevins, takes to the front with Nino Schurter, the cross country world champion. With a huge amount of purpose-built trails on today's stage, the two put in a masterclass in stylish mountain biking through the Bannock Burns. Team William Pirelli, Fabian Rabenstein and Bart Allemann are national champions from Italy and Belgium respectively and are currently in eighth overall, 50 minutes down in the GC. They had problems in the early stages of the race, so today they've targeted the stage for a win. By the 45km mark, they have almost two minutes on the chasing team of Speed Company Racing. Race leaders Canyon Northwave are feeling the pressure of a big week so far. They're almost four and a half minutes off today's lead, but more importantly, they're just less than three minutes behind Speed Company Racing, who are second on the GC. The young German team smell blood in the water and push to make as much time as possible. William Pirelli keep driving to the end. It's been a fantastic ride from the Italian-Belgian duo. They've ridden almost the entire race alone, but take it to the finish line in just over three hours and 15 minutes. Speed Company Racing sprint to the end and cross the line in second, going from third to second in the GC. They are followed by the William Pirelli factory team in third, their first podium of the 2022 Absa Cape Epic. The overall leaders in yellow cross the line just over five and a half minutes later. Sirvold and Stosek struggled today and lose just over four minutes in the GC. New faces on the men's podium today as we see Cape Epic newbie Cameron Orr and Daniel Gessmeyer from William Pirelli Racing in third. In second, Speed Company Racing, Georg Egger and Lucas Baum. And the stage six win goes to Wout Allemann alongside five-time Cape Epic finisher Fabian Rabensteiner from William Pirelli. Still in the overall lead, Canyon Northwave, Andreas Sirvold and Martin Stosek but their gap shrinks to 2 minutes and 45 seconds ahead of Speed Company Racing. The women line up on the second to last stage of the race. Overall leaders 91 Songo Specialized, Hayley Batten and Sofia gomez Viafan focus as they know it's going to be another tough battle against Faces Roller, Candice Lill and Mariska Strauss. The gun goes on stage 6 and the women's field sprint out of the gate. This stage has the most single track of the event. It'll be a pleasure to ride, but it is also incredibly draining both physically and mentally. Hayley Batten in the orange leader's jersey leads the charge down the single track and at the 37 km checkpoint, 91 Songo Specialized and Faces Roller are still together. The two dominating teams, Specialized and Faces, battle back and forth over the next 50 km. They descend the trails of Jonkosuk with speed into Stellenbosch with only 12 kilometers of racing left. BMC Racing, Pauline Ferran-Prevot and Robin de Groot have had a mixed Cape Epic with three wins and three difficult days. 
They're in third in GC and almost 27 minutes off the leaders. Enjoying the trails today, they overtake private client holdings, still managing their energy levels for the final stage tomorrow. As the race reaches its climax, 91 Songo Specialized opens a small gap over Faces Roller. In the last few kilometers, they're only 25 seconds apart. Sofia Gomez Viafan and Haley Batten push hard and take the win in four hours, one minute. It's an impressive ride from Faces Rolo, who finish in second, 39 seconds behind. BMC Racing are Pauline Ferran Prevo and Robin de Groot cross the line and take third. On the podium, BMC Racing are on the bottom step. Faces Rolo worked well as a team and takes second and the pair of the day on 91 Songo Specialized. Today's podium reflects the positions on the GC with Specialized extending their lead to almost 16 and a half minutes with just one day to go.